Today we're taking a look at the Trident Z5 64GB RGB enabled DDR5 kit courtesy of G-Skill. This memory kit consists of two memory modules, each of which are 32GB for a total of 64 gigs. This kit is XMP 3.0 verified, meaning that if you're using a qualified Intel motherboard, you should be able to get the DDR5 6400 mega transfer speed, and that'll be at CL32 102 timings. The XMP voltage is 1.4 volts, pretty standard there. Since XMP memory makes overclocking way easier for everyone involved, basically all you need to do to get this is enable it in the BIOS. It's one click. For my test system here, I'm using an Intel i7-14700K with an EVGA RTX 3060 12 gig GPU. I'll be using a Gigabyte Z790 Gaming X AX motherboard as well. I mainly use this system for video editing, but it's definitely capable of some solid 1440p gaming. Generally speaking, purely for gaming rigs, 32 gigs of system memory is usually the main target, but if you happen to use your PC for production tasks, like video editing, 3D modeling, or some kind of AI or deep learning research, having 64 gigs of memory and fast memory at that is definitely going to be a welcomed upgrade. I think for the Intel 14th gen platform, 6400 MTS or mega transfers per second is a solid sweet spot for performance memory, especially at this capacity. I think getting into the Intel LGA 1700 platform now as a new build, DDR5 is definitely the way to go, but I would honestly skip the 4800 mega transfer rated memory and go with at least DDR5 6000, if not 6400. I don't think the cost savings is worth it, especially as time goes on and newer AAA games come out. In my testing, I was able to see a little bit of a performance bump when enabling XMP in 3D Mark Time Spy. It's only a matter of time until games are better able to utilize faster memory. There are definitely higher speed memory kits available, but eventually you're going to run into diminishing returns for most games. That's why I think the sweet spot for DDR5 memory is about 6000 to 6400 mega transfers right now. Of course, we have some nice RGB on this memory kit, so that's worth at least 10 or 20% performance, probably. The RGB colors can be controlled through various RGB applications. G-Skill has Aura Sync RGB Fusion 2.0, the Mystic Light System from MSI, and Azrock's Polychrome Sync. I think that's a good selection, and I like that they went through the effort to make all of that compatible. As for the aesthetic of the memory kit, I like the look of these black heat sinks with the RGB bit on top. I think that really adds to the build, and especially if you have a tempered glass window, you'll be able to see that. DDR5 6400 is basically the fastest memory in an XMP form that I've ever had, so I did run this through a ton of gaming benchmarks to make sure it was stable and performing correctly. I didn't have any issues on my gaming X from Gigabyte with the 14700K and XMP enabled, so that's awesome. By the way, I definitely always recommend checking out G-Skills compatibility matrix. They post detailed QVLs on their website for pretty much every single memory kit that they sell, and that's awesome. This will tell you what memory kits are compatible with what motherboards and CPUs generally speaking. It's also worth noting that if you aren't familiar with G-Skill, all of the memory kits that they produce come with a limited lifetime warranty. I've actually been a longtime customer of G-Skill. I've had to use their technical support before. They were very knowledgeable and very quick, so that's definitely a plus. As for eking out a little bit more performance, I was able to do a quick and dirty overclock to get this memory to 6600 MTS, which is a slight improvement in some games. I think it'll actually go a little bit higher too, maybe 6800, maybe even 7000 if I really spent time optimizing, but for most people, I think it's just going to be easier and stability testing in the long run to just enable the XMP mode. That's plenty good for AAA gaming, 6400 is going to suit you well, especially with 64GB of capacity. If anyone's interested in me retesting this memory kit with the integrated GPU on the 14700K and seeing what kind of gaming improvements I can get, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll even test this against my Ryzen 7700X iGPU. As for the overall value of this memory kit, right now it's coming in right around 220 bucks on Amazon as of the publishing of this video. For a 64 gig memory kit with RGB that's controllable by many different software vendors and has an XMP rated speed of 6400 MTS and a limited lifetime warranty, I think this is a really good deal. 
I would not hesitate to recommend this for any new builds or anyone who is seriously into video editing. You're definitely going to want 64 gigs of memory or better, and I would definitely steer towards G-Skill. If this video helped you out, I would definitely appreciate it if you dropped a like on it. That lets YouTube know that other people researching memory kits might want to see this video. If you're into PC gaming and home lab content, get subscribed and ring the bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on gaming.